The Biden administration has released data that breaks down requests for student loan relief by congressional district. On Friday, the Department of Education released a breakdown of federal student loan forgiveness applications by House District, providing a new window into the demographics of borrowers seeking relief in both Republican and Democratic counties. The new data comes as the fate of President Joe Biden's debt relief plan remains in limbo and the U.S. Supreme Court is set to hear a lawsuit challenging its legality later this month. The initiative will provide individual debt relief of up to $20,000 to millions of low- and middle-income borrowers, but ongoing legal issues mean hundreds of no one has received relief, including the 10,000 borrowers. The White House said the plan is important to provide targeted debt relief to certain federal student loan borrowers affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. But many Republicans say the bailout will exacerbate inflation, arguing it's unfair to those who don't owe their student loans or have already paid them off. They also criticize the regime's legitimacy for granting executive relief. When a federal district court judge blocked the program in November, the Department of Education received about 26 million debt relief requests. His more than 16 million applications from these borrowers have been fully approved, according to the administration, with more than 40 million borrowers eligible for the program. A Department of Education official said of the new data, every constituency across the country strongly wants the Biden-Harris administration's own debt relief program. In every single congressional district, at least half of eligible borrowers either applied or were deemed auto-eligible for debt relief, and that was only in the one month that the application was available before the program got blocked because of lawsuits. In every congressional district, the official said, at least 30% of eligible borrowers were approved to have their debt discharged before the program was blocked. Some 81% of all applications for relief came from the bottom 80% of congressional districts when broken down by average income, the official added. A new political analysis of additional zip code data from the department obtained though a public records request also shows that borrowers living in lower income areas applied for relief at a higher rate compared to those who live in wealthier neighborhoods, and most applications came from places where the per capita income is under $35,000. Non-white majority zip codes accounted for more forgiveness applications per capita than majority white zip codes. Friday's data build on earlier numbers released by the Department of Education which showed a state-by-state -state breakdown of student loan forgiveness applications, which were published shortly after independent auditors questioned the estimated cost of the program. The latest release is in line with the Supreme Court, which is set to hear two lawsuits related to Biden's student loan forgiveness program later this month, including lawsuits from several Republican-run states. It is. Nebraska, Missouri, Arkansas, Iowa, Kansas and South Carolina have said the Department of Education does not have the legal authority to issue such cancellations. They argue that this violates the separation of powers and that Biden is using the pandemic as an excuse to obscure his true goal of fulfilling a campaign promise to pay off student loan debt. There is some theories that it allows them to go to court to challenge a program they claim is illegally calling out COVID to claim more power than Congress could have imagined. Advocated the Another case heard in the Supreme Court earlier this month was filed by two individual borrowers, Myra Brown and Alexander Taylor, 